Hi, it's Heather from Strings and Threads. Welcome to my channel and thank you so much for being here. Today is Scrubby Sunday. And Scrubby Sunday is that every week I'm going to make a dishcloth. It could be knitted, it could be crocheted. And I came up with this just frankly because I wanted to have an excuse to put knitting on here. Um, and I'm not really a proficient knitter. So I thought that doing dishcloths would be a good way to ease back into using my knitting skills. Um, but I've also found a lot of crocheted dishcloth patterns that I was really excited to try. So uh, Sunday is kind of my choice as to whether I do it knitted or crocheted. But uh, I thought I'd come on here and share with you. And if you're wondering like what I'm gonna do with all of these dishcloths, since I, one person doesn't really need all of those dishcloths, I figured that at the end of every month, I would do a giveaway for the four dishcloths that I made that month. So each at the end of each month, there will be a giveaway. And if you're interested, you know, come back next week will be the last Sunday of the month, I believe. I'll have to look here on my calendar. Okay, I'm back. I'm really sorry about that. I forgot to look before we started, but I just checked and there is one more, thank goodness. Uh, but I, I would have been happy to do the giveaway this, this week, but I only had three done. So next week, uh, tune, tune in next week if you're interested in winning the four that I did this month. And I will show you what I've been working on. The first week of the month, I did a knitted one and I'll put a link to the pattern below, but uh, if you've been following along, you know that this one you really don't need a pattern for. This is just, um, you cast on a certain number of stitches, and I'm sorry, I don't remember how many, you'd have to check the pattern. And then you just knit, 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 knit. Each row is knit until you have the desired length or the length that the pattern says. I used Karen uh, cotton cakes for these and this I, I feel like this dishcloth feels amazing. I'm sorry if you see paint on my hand. Uh, my husband and I have been painting one of the rooms in our house this weekend because we had a long weekend from work because of President's Day. So um, I did my very best to scrub it off but you never know there might be a random piece of paint somewhere and on my hands I couldn't get them all off. So I'm not dirty, it's just paint that won't come off yet. <laughs> this this dishcloth feels amazing. I really love the feel. The texture is nice. When you do all the knitted stitches, it gives you a nice uh, ribbed uh, texture to it. So I think it would be really nice to wash dishes with these. And then I found a pattern that I was, it's a free pattern on Yarnspiration, so I'll link that down below too. But I just fell in love with this pattern and I just had to try to make it. They call it Crochet Potholder Dinner Trio. Here's how they look. So last week, uh, the the first pattern in the, I'm just going in order from what when, you know, what they show in the pattern. The first pattern was the cherry pie. And I love it, it has a nice handle. There's a red ring that you crochet up first and then you do the pie crust and then you start crocheting the two round or the two circles together. And then you put a fancy trim. I love this one, I think it's really cute. And then the one that I did this week Oh my gosh, it's so easy. I never would have expected that the pattern would have been this easy. But I bet you I whipped this up in 20 to 30 minutes tops. Um, this is just the eggs over toast. So you just whip up. The toast is really, really easy to make. And the egg, super easy as well. So, and then there's a handle for that as well. Here's the back. The back is just plain but I really liked this pattern. And if I ever wanted to make one for myself, it would be really, really easy to whip up. So those are the three that I have so far. And you'll see the last one then will be the mug of coffee or tea, whichever you prefer. I personally prefer tea, I don't drink coffee. I was told that I haven't grown up yet because I never acquired a taste for coffee. I'll take it, I'm not grown up yet. <laughs> I hope everybody's having a great week and I'll see you tomorrow for Band Buddy Monday. Bye.